It's been a fantastic three days of racing here at the National Sports Center Velodrome. We've had tremendous sprint omnium competition. We've had tremendous endurance omnium competition on both the men's and the women's side. I've had the benefit to go to a couple World Cups. I've gone to the Pan Am Games, the Pan Am Championships. And this really is, you know, a handful of the best riders in the country. I mean, this is what's going to build U.S. track cycling to get to that next level. You can't develop riders without races like this. And my plan was pretty simple. Stay at the front, and when you make a move, it's got to be aggressive and decisive, and don't think about it. No holds barred. Dana Feiss and John Fraley both won every single event that they entered in the in the sprint omniums. And to win again with the same group of people and have a really good time doing that was as much fun as, you know, the victory as itself. You know, we got to just keep getting this area grown up, keep getting more riders up into that lower 11 to high 10 level. But the guys here are always improving. And then you got endurance guys here that can go that fast too. And that keeps it very interesting. So. It's, it's going well, and it was a good competition. On the endurance side, we had Carrie Higgins repeat for the fourth time, essentially owning this event. So every year I have a little pressure of whether or not I'm coming back, but um, I, I guess the competitive side of me always brings me back here in order to defend that title, and I'm proud to defend that title. Um, you know, of course I go in wanting to win all the races or have one of my juniors win the races. It was, I was more excited not to win that race last night because one of my 17-year-old teammates won the race. We were like switching off every half lap, and so I just like, drilled it as hard as I could and then it was like two laps to go and I just kept going and one lap to go and I kept thinking I was going to get caught and I didn't. And Franco Marvulli, our Swiss world champion, was finally dethroned after three attempts by Zach Kowalczyk, the American six-day phenom who's been traveling around Europe this past offseason. Just fantastic. Every the past three years I've been coming and fighting really hard to try to win that uh, win the endurance omnium and the quality of the field here is, is always just, it's just world class, fantastic. It's good competition, a lot of fast teams this year. And uh, Van Bon and Koss, very experienced riders, so they, you know, they were one to watch out for. So, it's been fantastic conditions all weekend long. No rain for the first time in several years. All the riders came through and had tremendous efforts. We're thrilled to be part of the Nature Valley Bicycle Festival, and we're proud to have been the kickoff for this 11-day event. Now we're looking forward to the next five days of road racing, which kick off on Wednesday when the Nature Valley Grand Prix starts in St. Paul, Minnesota.